everyone. It's Nick of Street Pass Princeton here to bring you another gym leader battle. So this one, I end up versing the Ice Gym Leader, and this is a very interesting battle. Uh, you kind of can guess the outcome in this battle, but uh, there was a funny outcome with the Obama Snow, which I won't spoil for you, but you'll see what happens. It's a total trolling thing, but it's completely hilarious, and you need to watch it. So... I verse against Price, he's the gym leader of the Ice Gym, his name is Hazmat in the game. So I lead off with Arcanine thinking, okay, so just flamethrower it. So Intimidate lowers attack, so Cold Snap goes first with the spikes, and I go for a flamethrower. Actually I go for Crunch, I don't know why, I guess it was Ghost type, that's why. So it does pretty good damage, and at this point I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna end it, and then it goes for the Destiny Vaughn, which I was like, oh no. So, Crunch, Frostlass ends up sacrificing itself, and unfortunately, it's a sacrifice to then take out my Arcanine. Smart move, and definitely a strategy I would like to use. So, it goes with the Barrick which is pretty big, and then I go with Klefki, in which I get hit by spikes. So, I he withdraws uh, his big Y, get big guy, and I end up going, I think, with Reflect, or Light Screen. Go with Light Screen, and then I go with Reflect on the next turn. Yeah, there we go. So, then he goes for Earthquake, which finishes Klefki off, Surprisingly, it just like literally wipes Klefki out. Thank you, Klefki. So now I go with Jolt. Uh, actually, I go with Espeon. So Aaron's out right now. So Aaron goes for uh, Psychic, but I think Earthquake might finish it off or gets close. So I go for Psychic, and it does pretty decent damage, but doesn't finish it off quite yet. Goes for the other Earthquake, and Aaron is gone. He just wiped it out. So here's where it gets funny. So I go for my Jolteon. Jolteon succumbs to spikes, unfortunately. And then I go for a surprising move. Magnet Rise, baby! So he thinks that I don't have an air balloon, and that I'm screwed. So Magnet Rise makes Earthquake ineffective. And he was, is like, wow, you really thought that out. I was like, yep. So, he ends up sending out Obama Snow, and what he doesn't know is that Jolteon knows Signal Beam, which is super effective against Grass types. Uh, this was actually the, the most fun of the battle. Uh, so I go for a Signal Beam, and Signal Beam is super effective. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it confuses Obama Snow. And this whole battle just ends up me being trolling Obama Snow with my Jolteon. And you'll see why. So it's confused right now. And, uh, we'll see right now. So, I go for another signal beam. And it looks like it does a lot of damage still. So I think he goes for a substitute, if I'm correct. Yeah, he goes for a substitute. It works, but it lowers his health a little bit more. So, I'm unfortunately attacked by the hail again. So, he goes for another... Uh, but attack, but unfortunately it fails. So I go for Signal Beam once again, and I think I might have bro broken the substitute at this point. Yeah, it faded. So at this point, he has nowhere to hide. And I end up finishing it off. Hopefully. Oh, he's confused. And finishes himself out. Which was awesome. That was actually hilarious. The fact that his Obama Snow took himself out. So Signal Beam did not work. So Electromagnetism wore off, unfortunately. So I end up having to go with another turn of Magnet Rise. Uh, he probably could have predicted this, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yeah, he goes for Rock Slide, but Sparky avoids the attack. I go for Signal Beam trying to finish Charlie off. And it does, it does get close, but not quite. And Rock Slide just wipes out my Jolteon. If I had known it was going to miss, I would have just gone for Signal Beam. Anyway, Aegis Blast goes out, and I think I try finishing off, uh... 
finishing off the, uh... Yeah, so I go for Shadow Sneak. And I do good damage enough just to finish it off fairly. So I take out his Mammal's Wine, which is great. So he goes in for Azure. So at this point, I'm just holding on to my skin of my teeth. Go for Iron Head, which does good damage. Goes for Roar. And Roar breaks out my Umbreon. Umbreon ends up going... Uh, my Umbreon's a toxic stall, so this will be interesting. Azure goes for Surf, does pretty good damage. Go for Toxic. And Azure is poisoned. So at this point, I'm just waiting it out, sort of. So Azure is still poisoned. So I go for a Protect. Just because to see what happens. And he goes for another Surf, surprisingly. Goes for Leftovers. Leftovers will recover, but the Toxic will slowly slap mo uh, sorry, sap more each turn. Goes for another Surf. And Surf does really good damage. I go for Moonlight. Moonlight does help recover a bit, but not a whole lot. Does decent amount. Okay, so from here on in, so Toxic doing more and more each damage. So he was, he uh, goes for a return, goes for uh, Ursa Glacier. I go for another Moonlight, just to recover again. So he goes for Superpower, which I did not know, and looks like. Lucian takes a really big hit. So, it looks like Lucian might need to go for the Toxic, unfortunately. And it's, it is Toxic, but yeah, you'll see what happens from here. So, Ursa Glacier goes for... Oh, I go for Protect. Why? Oh, yeah, right. Forgot. So, goes for Aqua Jet, tries to finish me off. So I'm praying for a double protect at this point, which it does not work. So Aqua Jet will finish me off. And it faints. So I go for my last Pokemon. I believe at this point it's Aegislash. Aegislash comes out. And what pretty much happens at this point... I end up using Protect just to stall him out a little bit more. He goes for Rock Slide. And I think I go for... Is it... A Swords Dance? Right. I go for Swords Dance. He goes for Rock Slide, which does decent damage. Actually, not really good damage at all. I really should have gone for another... Uh, sword stance, but poison finishes it off. So, and then it'll leave me versing his Weavile, which is called Vendetta. Cool name, by the way. And Vendetta has pressure. Ooh. So, Night Slash finishes me off. And that's goodbye to Aegis Slash. Well, Aegis Slash did what he could do, but he could not. And that was a loss. So. Yeah, those are my two losing. I have another losing, which is later on, but it's with uh, sort of a modded Abdallah team. So I start winning in the next battle, so that'll be interesting. My first win will be coming up after this one. Anyway, guys, I want to thank all of you for watching, and uh, you make sure you like this video, subscribe, check us out Facebook, Google, and Twitter. Next event will be the third year anniversary, and uh, Mario Golf, and... Uh, Kid Icarus Uprising. So anyway, I want to thank you all for watching, and this is Nick of Street Pass Princeton, signing out! See you guys later!